The big sandy crayfish calls the higher hills of Virginia, Kentucky, and West Virginia home, but its range has been rapidly shrinking in these rivers and creeks. When you get all that sediment and stuff coming down, the dirt filling in all the holes, and they don't have anywhere to hide, and they don't have anywhere to live. That's why Drew Phipps in the White Sulphur Springs National Fish Hatchery decided to do something about it. With the help from West Liberty University students last August, they collected some eggs off a few specimens to propagate them back in the lab. They grew fast in a controlled environment. They've grown um, from six millimeters to 85, so it's a pretty big difference in eight and a half months. So the equivalent of a two, two and a half year old in the wild. We're gonna turn loose about 77 animals and that'll be a significant number. That's the largest release that's ever been done. Uh, first release here in Virginia. The Big Sandy Crayfish isn't endangered yet, but it's close. That's why so many people are coming together to try to prevent that from happening. We've got um, a lot of folks from Fish and Wildlife Service, uh, really great partners from Virginia DWR. Got some local high school kids here from uh, Ridgeview High School. This is a really big day and a really good step forward for crayfish conservation. Nothing like this has been done before where you're releasing crayfish back into the wild. So it's really important, not only for Kimberis Kalinas, but this is a step forward for other endangered species uh, to just try out these propagation methods and see what works and then actually get the animals back out to the wild. Before these beautiful crayfish were released, they were tagged. That way biologists can track how they're doing in future surveys. The hope is clear. Establishing new populations and ensuring up the ones that we have already. So his instincts are still there even though yeah. he's been raised in a lab. I mean, you can see he's took off now. He's just going to go where he wants to, right? They're still very, you know, feral. Um, and, and we've been putting them under the rocks already this morning. They're going under the rocks and swimming around. A lot of people from West Virginia, I mean, they grow up catching crayfish out of streams when they're younger. It, it, me especially, I did that a lot when I was younger. So it's just really important because it's not only protecting this endangered species, it's also like saving this resource that has been important for people of West Virginia for so long in Virginia. To Drew, this project especially hits home. I fished the McClure when I was in high school and, and, and on up through college. Um, and so to be able to come back here, it's a very personal project for me. With Wild Appalachia, I'm Brandon Stover. We have lots of great adventures on Wild Appalachia and you go with us. Just click right here, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to get the latest uploads.